my plan was to write for other people. But then as I started writing music, I grew so personally attached to the songs. I just found my voice. This is so dope. yourself be so consumed in your art Camila Cabello's on the show yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, girl. Hey. Miss Cabello, how are you? Guys, thank you so much for doing that. I really I really feel the love. Thank you so much. It's Edgar who produced it. He lives in this box. His name is Edgar. Hello, Edgar. I hope you like that. Edgar, you do live in that box. <laughs> <laughs> that was so dope. Thank you so much for doing that. So cool. You're welcome. Let me out of here. Right. <laughs> let me out of here. Someone let him out. <laughs> You're stuck in there, Edgar. Yo, come here. How we feel? Uh, I feel... Amazing. I feel a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot going on. It's, it's, yeah. It's very, it's very intense for me right now. Mm -hmm. Like when I posted the, I feel like I, I have been kind of locked up in the studio for the last five months. Yeah. And I've kind of been making all this music, forgetting really that people were gonna hear it. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. But that's the zone you want to be yeah, in. Yeah, definitely, right? definitely. But like naked music. Yeah, but it was definitely I was just kind of writing for myself and mm -hmm. when i wrote that thing on instagram about my album coming out i literally got this like these butterflies at the pit of my stomach and oh. i was like oh, oh my god i was like i can't believe that people are actually going to start to hear what i've been working on it's, yeah it's it's, it's very uh, yeah. it's very vulnerable right because you put your work out there and now you're putting yourself out there yeah your thoughts and your feelings and now people will know how you're feeling and what you're thinking and it's very vulnerable yeah especially with this album because i feel like there's really nothing that I left unsaid like I put every piece of my heart into it and I Is think that, right? that yeah and I think that people will be able to tell but that's why I'm trying not to even explaining the album like I'm trying not to look at the reactions or what people are saying on the internet too much because it is definitely very it's like you know, it's like being naked in a crowd. You sure, know? sure, yeah. Other than that, are you into comments? Are you reading the comments? Are you reading YouTube comments, IG no. comments? You shouldn't. Mm -mm. You keep those out of your life. I keep That's those good. out. Don't Why? That. Why do you do that? I've actually done that for the past year and a half because um, I feel like it just starts to influence you, and you yes. and you yeah. start to do stuff with the per with subconsciously in the back of your mind, being like, oh, how are people going to react to it? And I never want to put myself in a box like that because it's mm -hmm. like maybe this album, I'm doing this stuff. Um, but what if the next album I'd want to do something completely different? You sure, know, there's sure. always people that are going to be disappointed. Which you're allowed to, by the way, as exactly, an artist. Exactly, exactly. And I always want to keep that. I want to keep myself just free. Yeah. Um, Whose so. opinion matters the most to you? Um, I mean, I feel like for me, I want to make the music that I want to listen to and that I love. Um, I think, though, my family, especially my sister, like I kind of... I kind of keep her... Older or younger? She's younger. Younger sister? Yeah. She has the vibe. She knows the vibe. Well, I just feel like, you know, whenever... I just I just also want to make stuff that is true to myself and something that I would be like, it's it's fine if she... You Lead know what I mean? If she, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, you went from like Cuban sandwiches to tortas back and forth. <laughs> ah, that's the only way I can put it. That's how I That's how I should have explained it. Huh? <laughs> I think that's the way, right? Yes. Yeah. No, but yeah, so you're going back and forth. Croquetas to tamales. Right? Oh, that's right. Oui. Yeah. <laughs> the channel's awake. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> Que rico. So you're in the studio. You're obviously working extremely hard. Mm -hmm. You're into your music. You're pouring everything you have into this album. Congratulations, mm -hmm. right? You. So what's the, uh, what's, what's the wind out part or the wind down part of it all? How do you relax? How do you keep the stress away? I I mean, I don't really have time to relax right now, but I think for me it's more about like the enjoying part comes after the intensity, if that makes sense. Like it comes in the release of it as opposed to, like I feel like when I perform these songs live, I'm going to be at the billboards in a few days. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey. Major. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so excited. Um, I feel like doing that, What's going through my brain is thinking, how can I express what this whole journey was about in three minutes and 30 seconds in this wow. performance, if that makes sense, from the hurting to the healing to the loving. Because I went through basically a place where I was just like in a lot of pain for a couple years. And that's what mm -hmm. this album is about. It's about going from pain to joy and about yeah. basically the progression of 
dealing with those emotions and accepting even the part where you do feel hopeless and uh-huh. then going into yeah sorry have you no 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 it's okay it's okay it's okay I'm just listening I'm listening but have yeah. you forgiven those um yeah who've hurt you yeah you have to in order to get to the loving yeah yes. in order to free yourself that's really the only yeah. way you can can't live with that in free. your heart right exactly it turns you into a really ugly person I think it slows exactly. you down weighs you down yeah, yeah absolutely exactly. do you look back on that at that point where you were like at your lowest and are you like damn I was that broken about that like how and why. Um, yeah, definitely, especially through the writing process, because basically I go through all my notes. And so I remember like reading stuff from like a year ago where I could tell that I was just like in a really dark place. And it's kind of it's a weird like out of body moment where you're just like, damn, like I kind of that, you know, like poor girl that was struggling through all of that stuff, because I feel like I'm just in another place now. Like, I feel like I'm like a different person entirely. Yeah. Um, But I feel like also the message of my album is also just like justifying whatever pain you're feeling like and feeling that's just a part of life sure you know what i mean being like that's okay but you know that the only way to get through it is to talk about it and get through it and mm-hmm, then you mm-hmm. know you know a lot of young uh young people don't necessarily know how to get through it mm-hmm. they think I it's didn't. the end of the world you didn't yeah i thought it was the end of the world too um and that's okay too like you just have to live in those moments because i feel like when you're going through that stuff you're always like man i should be better man why do i feel like this why do i feel like this and I feel like what this album taught me is that I have to feel it. You know what I mean? You can't be afraid of letting yourself feel pain because then it comes back out in uglier ways, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And so once I really faced it head on, instead of trying to avoid it and running away from it, I got it out and I and I healed, you know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. I got better. You ever get lit to take the edge off? You ever what? You ever get lit to get to uh, no. take the edge off? No, not no. really, no. Mm-mm. Yeah, because I feel like that's just, especially for me, I mean, I'm a Pisces and I'm also like a very zero or a hundred kind of person. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not in every situation, like whether it's falling in love or in a friendship with somebody or if it's like work that I'm pouring myself into. It's hard for me to like, you know, keep control with stuff. I'm kind of like all the way, all the way or Mm -hmm, not at mm -hmm. all. So I feel like I just, I wouldn't want to go down that road. I know that that would be not good for me. Are you a workaholic? Yeah, I think so. Because <laughs> um, I'm just really passionate about stuff. And I, when I put so much into it, I want every detail to reflect what it was. Like, whether it's, like, the font or, like, the cover art or, like, and, it, like, the mix. Like, everything has to be. you got to have fancy. your hands in it all, That's right? why it's, like, exhausting because I feel like I, can't, I have no choice but to be like that. You know what I mean? Sure. So I can't really take a break unless I don't have anything to do. <laughs> you know? Do you feel that that's the only way to survive for you? Um, I don't think it's always going to be like that. Like, I feel like it's going to be in periods. Like, right now, I am I made an album where I had a lot of stuff that I had to say. Yeah. Um, And I feel like I've said that stuff. And, like, for example, The Hurting, The Healing, The Loving. I feel like I've written everything about that situation that caused me to feel that way. I don't. I don't have any other song in me to write about that situation. I got it all out. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So for now, like I feel like now is it goes into a different transition where it's more like now I need new experiences sure. to write about. Sure. Now sure. I need to just like go into this next era. Mm-hmm. And that's what the next thing will be about. But I definitely need to what I do know is that I need to have I can't just be in the studio all the time because mm-hmm. Then if you're not living, then you don't have stuff don't to write about. Absolutely, yeah. and and you know walls start to close in a little. Exactly. That's why I'm. That's what I'm learning now. Like I feel like now with this one, I'm gonna take some time to just mm-hmm. like you know go out and have fun. You feel like you got to work twice as hard as everybody. Um. I mean, I think right now is a critical point because I feel like sure. I definitely have. You know, like I feel like this is kind of for myself. It's kind of the standard that I'm setting for myself for mm-hmm. the rest of the stuff that I'm gonna put out. Like I feel like this level of um, honesty. Like I'm glad that people are gonna get. That's the first thing that people are gonna hear yeah. from me and see from me in the video because then I'm gonna feel in a good way forced to like maintain that authenticity like in the rest of my music. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. So yeah, it sure. is really important for me. Mm-hmm. Do you have friends you can count on? Yeah, I definitely, I have a lot of really good people around me. Like, I'm so close to my family. I'm so close to my neighbors. Like, I'm flying <laughs> them I'm flying them all out. Um, really? Your neighbors boards. and everybody? That's so dope. Yep, all from Miami. 
Oh, that's so cute. That's beautiful. Yep. When somebody dates you, are they also dating your mom? Um, no, I literally have to be like, you, you gotta go. Like if I'm in the same room as this, as a person I have a crush on, please don't be there because chances are she knows yeah. and I can just feel her like she's eyeing you. Camila. You know how Latina moms are always like, that was in your business. I'm Is like. Is she trying to hook you up with her friend's sons? Is that what she's trying to do? No, I wish. Oh, really? Oh. Get it together. Oh, cause that's what KB's mom My does. My mom would always do that. Like, mija. Uh, Teresa's son, he's so cute. He has a good job. I'm like, Mom, you're so embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't like did it ever son. Did it ever work out? No. No, no, because, because they weren't your type. No, not and, at all. And because it's always just the, the feeling of your mom just watching yeah. over you on a date because she set you up but with him. Yeah, and it's always this like, <laughs> yeah, it'll be really good. Yeah, like, with yeah, all due respect, that is not hot. It's no. not hot. No. no, I know. No, I don't do that. I right. promise. I promise. Right. Right. I keep right, right. my mom as far away from that. As possible. But the boy situation is pretty, it's like this Sahara desert right now. There's like nothing. The Sahara. Nah, there's nothing. Dry. There's no way. Well, listen. It's dry. There's well, nothing listen. right now. If it's so dry. I'm cooped up. <laughs> Go into your DMs. I know your DMs Dryer are popping. Dryer than tamale leaves? I know yes. your DMs are popping. Dripping in the DMs. I might what? have to check some. I might have to You're check lying. some. You're lying. That's the con, maybe, of not being on the internet Go to the ones much. that you have to allow. Those are the fire yeah. ones. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> right? mm -hmm. Or the, the most dangerous as yeah. well. You that's, know? that's the next album. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so you're saying mom doesn't the DM know. Album. The DM album. Mom doesn't know much about the boys, but she's listening to this album. So it's Miha being hurt and going through a lot. Uh-oh. How it's, does that feel? It's actually, this album is not really about boys though but you're still going through a lot you're going to still going through a lot but she knew that daughter. yeah right. she she knows that like she, she yeah she was definitely one of the people that i feel like took my hand and walked me out of the dark yeah you know you say your love life is dry <laughs> yes but there's gotta Whoa, be somebody. I thought somebody. you were gonna go into like a fire rap verse there. You ready? You say your love uh, life is dry. You say your love life is dry. Oh my. Please don't cry. You feel me? <laughs> and that's so all. Good. And that's it. Bars all day. You feel me? You feel me? No, but there's gotta be somebody you know, somebody you see that you think is cute, someone that you go, yeah. uh, maybe him. Yeah, definitely. You got prospects? Yeah, definitely. I have crushes for sure. Are they I mean, famous? I can't live my life without having crushes thank you exactly. it's so boring We're right human. <laughs> right right it's so like boring. i just remember going to school and if i didn't have a crush on anybody i was like Ugh. can i go home <laughs> i feel like it's the same in life like i have to be you know i have to be kind of in love yeah even if it's not like real a relationship if that makes sense. Right. So you're just kind of loving somebody from afar? Yeah, sure. That's a, that's a little creepy, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but you know, just like a just a crush, like something to yeah. something to fantasize about. Of course, of course. Just something to keep your mind. Inspiration. You know. Exactly. There you go. There exactly. you go. Uh, is it time for Lechero's lightning round? Yeah. Let's get to it. Um, Lechero's lightning round. Yes. We got one minute, Camila. You ready? Go. I'm ready. What are the last four digits of your phone number? Oh my god. 7416. <laughs> Wait, was it? 7416. Okay, cool. Do you believe at love at first sight? Yes. It, oh, you, okay, cool. Uh, look, if you audition for American Idol, what song would you sing? I would sing um, uh, 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 love, on the, love on the Brain by Rihanna. <laughs> What's the worst job you've had? I didn't work before X Factor. <laughs> for real? Yes. Wait, well, not? I was 15. <laughs> 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 Who is the well, most well, famous person you've ever met? Um, Don't say me. Uh, uh, Pharrell. Pharrell, that's so dope. Wow. I mean, I worked with him. Yo, that was a chance lightning around. You've been struck by lightning. Man, did I do a lot of questions or was there more left? No, there was that. Well, actually, I could ask you, like, uh, do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in Bigfoot? I really want, I was like closing my eyes, <laughs> focusing so hard. You were I so wanted, ready? I was so ready. I was like, okay. Okay, how about this one? Who was your first celebrity crush? Um, Zac Efron from High School Musical. You're lying. Hey girl. Yes. Yeah. Yo, you hey were like girl. eight years old. I know. <laughs> that was like when it was like you didn't want to tell your parents that you liked boys, but you did. But yeah. you did, oh, low yeah. key. Yeah. You, you can identify. Oh. Yeah. yeah. They're like, do you like a boy? I was like, no. No. Crystal B had a, a crush on her dad's barber when she was six. Yo, <laughs> crazy. He was a good looking man. <laughs> <laughs> You're sick in the head, Crystal. Who do you want to collab with um, in the near future? Good question. I mean, I think. Collaborating with Ed Sheeran would be dope. You love Ed Sheeran. I love Ed Sheeran a lot. Yeah. Um, there are definitely some collaborations on the album, though, that I'm really excited about. Yeah. Oh, like? Um, well, I did a few songs with Pharrell, which is really cool. Fire, awesome. right? Yeah. Um, Charlie XCX. Mm -hmm. uh, Ryan Tedder. Jeez. Those are some of the people. Oh, Sia. <laughs> oh, Yo. wow. Yeah. Yo. So those are, yeah, those are like 
writing collaborators that were really cool. But definitely Ed Sheeran would be super dope. Sure. Um, Party Next Door would be super dope. Fire, mm. fire. Yeah. Drake would be super dope. That's a great list. Thank you. You Great list. You and Diplo have been teasing on social media for like yes. a yep. year plus that you guys are working on something. I and know. And you guys have not dropped whatever this something is. Our fans are going to... Yo, everyone is like going crazy over whatever the heck this is. When are we getting it? No, this is actually coming out super soon. Is it one song? Is it a project? It's one it's one song. And it's more than me in it. It's Major Laser. Uh -huh. It's Major Laser. With, yes. Okay. Wow. It's yes. a squad. What was it's the last squad. entry in your diary? I don't have a diary, I just have songs. And you just pour it um, all in, into that. But the last thing, do you have my phone? I have basically like notes from stuff that i'm feeling and then they yeah. become the like one? titles or concepts or whatever and like sure. future songs let's see what do we have what do we have okay the okay. hurting the healing the loving is out I have now one lyric says it's been a long time coming that's oh, the last really? thing i wrote down yeah it's been a long time coming so from there you'll create something from that yeah if if yeah, if, for example, like if somebody plays like a beat and I'm like, oh, this this is like what I'm envisioning for that song. Yeah. Then I'll basically like mix and match concepts with beats or tracks and mm -hmm. I'll be like, okay, and then I'll try and do it and then sometimes it's good and then sometimes it's not and then I'll move on to the next concept sure, or sure, title. Sure, sure, sure. Do you see yourself as a role model? Uh, I, I think so. Because, I mean, I feel like I don't try to. I feel like I just am yeah. the way that I am. You know, but you have um, young fans. They're looking yes, at you. Yeah. You have uh, young girls looking at you yeah. as well. So I'm sure there's that sense of responsibility. Yeah, definitely. Especially like I said, and that's what I that's what I meant when I was saying about my sister who's 10. Like, I definitely, Cute. I definitely feel like I have that in the back of my mind because I have her and I show her. Like I literally play my songs for my family. Yeah. And she's she's there. Does she you know? think you're so cool? Like, gosh, my big sister is so cool. I think so. <laughs> I think so. I'd like to think so. Have you bought her anything expensive? Um, no, but I did take her to the Radio Disney Awards. And oh, wow. She was that was like, major for her, right? It was huge yeah. because obviously these are all the TV shows that she watches. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's like the descendants are right there. And she was like. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, she's definitely she's really proud of me. And she has yeah. this sense of like because we're so different. She's very, you know, she she's very organized and yeah. she cleans her room and she's very responsible. And I being like, you know, I just turned 20, but I'm so the opposite. Like I'm a Pisces. I have my head in the clouds all yeah. the time. Right, right. I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm like not super in reality. I leave my stuff everywhere. I lose stuff all you're, the time. You're like creative. Yeah, like yeah. my brain is like everywhere. Your room everywhere. is a mess, isn't my it? My room is a mess, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like my sister kind of, she has this... Um, sense of like oh i'm she kind of like takes care of me sometimes right like i feel like she i i make her feel like she takes care of me sometimes right. if you're, that makes sense you're 20 so you're already thinking about your 21st birthday i know it what are we doing i actually am not i'm just trying to you're just trying to get live? through the week you know yeah, yeah you feel me um, but 21st birthday we do in vegas we're leaving the country May, I, I'd like to just go traveling. I'd like to do a thing where I take like a vacation. There you go. That'd be dope. With a boy. But I feel like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> bro, go on vacation with a boy, bro. Uh, you feel me? Please, Diosito, please. <laughs> Mándamelo, ya. <yeah>. Mándamelo. <laughs> what, what, is, what, is Lo merezco. what is the boy you're looking for? Three characteristics in the boy you're looking for. Mm. Let me write them down. Okay. <laughs> Don't bother. <laughs> Don't bother. I feel like there's always, I don't feel like, Whoever you fall for, it never ends up being, you know, fitting into the well, list. It's always the person That's the that you part. didn't think it was. It's always the person be, that you, know? you didn't think it was. Yes. But I think the so only true. the right. only thing. So you do have a shot, Lichetto. <laughs> I don't feel like I have. <laughs> All right, love the confidence, Lichetto. <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> I'm sorry, you were saying. I don't feel like I have a type. I feel like the one thing in common though is, I don't know. I feel like when you meet somebody, there's just like an attraction. Sure. That's more like a. You know, it's more like an energy, if that makes sense. It's yeah. not like smart, funny, sweet. Like, that's not, it just, Yeah, you no. Know. What's the vibe like when he steps in a it's room? It's the vibe. That's the, that's you know really, what I'm saying? that's, I feel like that's the thing. The hurting, the healing, the loving. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Congratulations. Crying in the club. Nobody should cry in the club. That's a, uh, so sad. 
That's a vibe killer all day. Right. I know. It happens. You feel me? But it does happen. I'm an emo girl for sure. Are you emo? Really? really? I am. Do you cry every day? Um, not every day, but yeah, not every day. It just depends. Yeah. I'm definitely a very emotional person though. Well, keep smiling. Thank you. You're but a good it's person. not necessarily crying like um, you know, it's not just if something sad happens. Sometimes something is like happy overwhelming tears. and you're having so much yeah. like I'm probably gonna cry after billboards, like in a happy way. I'm gonna be like, Oh my god, I can't you know what I mean? I can't. And that's gonna it. happen so fast too. Yeah, I know. That by the time you're done, you're like, yo, that's it? Yeah, I know, dude. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sad, dude. Yeah, dude. Sad, dude. I love that. Yeah, sad, dude. Sad, dude. Sad. Yeah, okay. Camila Cabello, thank you very much. Congratulations. And thank, thank you, you so much for stopping by. Yeah, we I appreciate love you guys. that, man. Come through anytime. Seriously, thank, thank you guys so much. You're I love you guys. You're very welcome. You're very welcome, man. The hurting, the healing, the loving. Uh, Crucial. Power 106. Let's go. Hey. 